Good morning, everybody. Hey, uh, you know, I bought these trailers to store all my stuff in. Well, I noticed after we loaded this one up that it was awful low to the ground. And we tried to even lift it up with a, a, a forklift to put a board under it. And we, that was kind of a screwed deal because we I forgot the back was, was uh, blocked up. And uh, so when we were trying to lift the front, we were trying to lift the whole trailer. So that little little uh, forklift he had, it didn't work too well. But I noticed after we got, uh, let's show you this. You see them axles? They got two inches. Before that hits the ground, how far do you think I'm going to be able to take that? Well, I paid reliable trailers in Yuma to put new axles on there. I didn't know, I, you know, I pay people to do something. I don't go inspect their work. I think, you know, it's professional and, and they uh, know what they're doing. So why should I expect their work? Well, apparently I'm going to have to from now on. Because I just had some people come out and look at this trailer and, and tell me what's wrong with it. Because that, that ain't right. <clears throat> and it isn't because of the weight. We thought maybe I had too much weight in it. Nope, that ain't it. It's because they put the axles on upside down. These axles were made to go under the springs, like some of you know. And they put them on top. So you got a bow on your axle like this, supposed to go up this way. These go this way. So I would be four inches up in the ground air if that was put on right. Once again, that's reliable trailers out of Yuma. Charged me almost a thousand bucks. And uh, that's the work you get from them guys. Now I haven't even used this trailer. They put the axles in it. And I brought it uh, up to Idaho. I bought it down there in Yuma. And uh, packed it full of my stuff last year and moved it out here. So that's got maybe a thousand miles on it. Less than that, because it's only 800 miles from Yuma to here. And uh, people that came out and looked at it says, well, you we can't work on it as long as you got it full of stuff. So that means I got to empty everything in there and pay somebody to refix work that Reliable Trailer in Yuma did. Now, I'm going to put this on there, and I'm going to tag their name, because that's ridiculous. Uh, you know, just another, another screw-up from, from paying people to do stuff. I mean, I'm, I'm disgusted with them, and I'm sure all you guys would be too. Because that's completely full of stuff. I mean, you know, it's got our couches in there. It's got our beds in there. It's got our uh, our household, everything. And now it's all got to come out of there. And i got to find a place to put it. While we pay money to have something redone. Thanks to reliable trailers in Yuma. So, I'm posting this one right now. You all know I'm pretty honest about everything. I tell it like it is. I'm going to attach a video on the end of here. Please click on it. If there's any doubt in your mind that I'm not telling you the truth about where I got this trailer repaired at. So click on this link right here.